The film begins in a bank room where some robbers in high-tech clothes are hurting the bank manager. At that time, they hit him so hard that one of his teeth falls out. They do this to get information on how to open the bank safe. And the manager, unable to take the pain, finally tells them that he is the key to the safe. After learning this, the robbers drag the manager to the safe. But when they try to use him to open the safe, it doesn't work. This happens because one of his teeth is missing from the beating. In the end, they put the fallen tooth back into his gum. Once they do this, the safe finally opens. Without wasting any time, the robbers went into the safe and took hundreds of diamonds and a flash drive with important secrets. But even after getting these valuable things, the robbers were not happy. One of them wanted to hurt a security guard. And this caused a fight between the robbers, leading to a shootout. During the fight, the leader of the robbers accidentally showed their face. It turned out to be a beautiful woman named Alexis. Upset with her team's behavior, Alexis killed the disobedient member and ran away with two others. After getting away, Alexis and her two partners, Kevin and Raymond, decided to split up and hide for a month. To cover their tracks, she blew up the van with the body of the dead robber inside. After the robbery, Alexis relaxed by taking a bath and having a drink in her hotel room. She watched TV, which was showing news about the robbery she did. The news had a sketch of one of the robbers, and it was Alexis's face. While getting out of the shower, Alexis got some calls from an unknown number. She quickly left her room and went to another room, which belonged to Kevin. To avoid suspicion from the hotel staff, Kevin kissed Alexis and asked her to come into his room. Turns out, Kevin was Alexis's ex-boyfriend and had a new plan for them. However, Kevin didn't get to explain his plan because he asked Alexis to hide. His girlfriend, Jessica, was knocking on the door. But when the door opened, Jessica was there with two hitmen led by Washington. Kevin wanted to blackmail a Mr. Senator using a video of Jessica and the Senator, who owned the flash drive from the robbery. After deleting the video, Washington shot Jessica and tortured Kevin, asking for the flash drive. Meanwhile, Alexis, hiding under the bed, was scared and couldn't do anything as she watched Kevin being killed. Luckily, Alexis found the flash drive hidden by Kevin under the bed. Sometime later, Washington was telling Mr. Senator about his work when Alexis suddenly appeared from under the bed. She grabbed a gun and pointed it at Washington's head, but the gun had no bullets. Then, Alexis quickly ran from Kevin's room to her own room to buy time, but Washington's men chased her. In her room, Alexis tried to hold the door closed while reloading her gun. She shot one of Washington's men in the leg, giving her some time to escape. When Washington's men broke into her room, Alexis used the moment to ambush them and escape. At that time, Washington was impressed by how Alexis ambushed and escaped. The chase continued, with Alexis smartly using the hotel's emergency stairs. But Washington had his men block the stairs. Even though she was cornered, Alexis found a drain leading to the laundry room. Then, she quickly changed into some clothes she found there. At that moment Alexis ran to the parking lot, took a car, and drove away fast. There, Washington's men kept chasing her, shooting at her car as they followed. After driving for a while, Alexis couldn't see Washington's car anymore and felt a bit relieved. But then the police started chasing her, and soon Washington and his men joined the chase too. The intense chase made Alexis's car flip over. Luckily, she survived and quickly ran to find her friend Raymond, who was part of the bank robbery. When she got to Raymond's place, Alexis tried to get him to open the door. At first, he didn't want to. But then Alexis told him that Kevin had been killed. While she was convincing him, one of Washington's men shot at her. Fortunately, Raymond finally opened the door just in time to save Alexis from the bullets. Inside the house, Alexis called Penny, Kevin's wife, and told her to leave her house and bring the stolen diamonds. But then, the two women argued because Penny didn't believe Alexis right away. Meanwhile, Raymond prepared for a fight against Washington and his men. He sat with a shotgun in front of the elevator, ready to ambush them. Sadly, Raymond was shot by a sniper through the window before he could do anything. Soon after, Washington and his men entered the hiding place looking for Alexis but couldn't find her. Meanwhile, Penny, who didn't believe Alexis at first, decided to look for the diamonds and money Kevin had hidden. But, she accidentally broke her car window while searching for the diamonds and then exchanged the broken glass for the diamonds in her pocket. 
Unfortunately, Washington found out Penny's home phone number by pressing the redial button on her phone, which Alexis had used earlier. He tricked Penny's son, Matthew, to find their home address. Meanwhile, Alexis, hiding in the ceiling, overheard Washington's plan to go to Penny's house. Later, when Penny tried to escape with her son, Washington and his men arrived. They knocked Penny out and took the diamonds, ordering their men to deal with Penny and Matthew. In that moment, one of the men tried to hurt Penny, but Matthew managed to escape. During Matthew's escape, Alexis suddenly appeared and fought off Washington's men, saving Matthew. On the other hand, Penny, who had woken up, tried to fight off one of Washington's men who wanted to hurt her. The man stopped because he felt something was wrong since his friend hadn't come back. Alexis was hiding, ready to ambush Washington's men, but she got ambushed instead. There was a struggle, and Alexis had trouble getting away. Luckily, Penny saved her by hitting the man on the head with her son's toy, and the man was knocked out. Alexis and Penny felt a bit safer, but it didn't last long because the stolen flash drive they were trying to open had been tracked. Feeling threatened, Alexis planned to stop Washington and his men to keep herself, Penny, and her son safe. Meanwhile, Washington had a phone call with Mr. Senator, who was unhappy with his progress. But Washington didn't want help from others recommended by Mr. Senator. After that, Washington got a call from Alexis, who taunted and challenged him. Worried about being tracked, Washington and his men decided to leave the hotel, taking the bodies of Kevin and Jessica with them. However, Alexis had already tracked them and followed the group of hitmen. Arriving at an old warehouse, Alexis quickly ambushed one of Washington's men who had been shot in the leg earlier. Using the limited time, she took Jessica's head to use as evidence. Soon after, Washington arrived to burn the bodies of Jessica and Kevin to cover their tracks. As he was about to burn the bodies, he got a call from Alexis, who threatened to shoot his men if he didn't return the stolen diamonds. There, Washington tried to buy time by negotiating and pretending to hand over the diamonds while searching for Alexis. But when he arrived, he found the bodies of his men and a bomb ready to explode. Luckily, Washington and his people managed to escape the explosion. Frustrated with Alexis, Washington went upstairs and shouted, trying to lure Alexis with the bag of diamonds. Alexis then surprised Washington by sneaking up from behind. Unfortunately, just as Alexis was about to push Washington, one of his men hit her on the head, knocking her out. A few moments later, Alexis woke up tied to a chair with Washington and his men ready to hurt her. There, Washington showed Alexis the bag of diamonds she wanted. But when he opened it, the bag only had broken glass, which Penny had put there while escaping. Soon after, Washington tried to force Alexis to tell him where the flash drive was, threatening to torture her. Even with this scary threat, Alexis refused to tell him where the flash drive was. Angry, he decided to torture her. Despite the pain and nearly breaking her legs, Alexis stayed silent, which impressed Washington. He knew that Alexis used to be a member of the United States Special Forces with high-level sneaking skills. Unfortunately, an incident in her past caused Alexis to accidentally kill an innocent family. This trauma made her quit her job. This same reason is why Alexis tried so hard to protect Kevin's family, not wanting to repeat her past mistakes. At that time Washington used Alexis's trauma and her desire to protect Kevin's family as a threat, trying to make her give up the flash drive. Unfortunately, Alexis was stuck until she made a deal with Washington. Then, she asked Penny to secure the flash drive and put it in a locker at Cape Town Airport by 9 p.m. After they made the deal, Washington suddenly stabbed Alexis in the thigh to make her unable to run. Later, Washington and Alexis went to the airport as planned. But then, a woman bumped into Alexis and secretly gave her the key to locker 814, where the flash drive was hidden, without Washington noticing. Alexis then offered the key to Washington, but he didn't fully trust her, so he made her hold the key and open the locker herself. The woman who bumped into Alexis was actually Penny. At that time, Penny was trying to be careful because she knew Washington's men were watching her. While walking, Penny read a newspaper and saw Alexis's face, realizing that Alexis and Kevin had committed crimes. When Alexis arrived at the locker room, she opened the locker with the key Penny had given her. Inside the locker was a suitcase. Meanwhile, Washington, still cautious, told Alexis to open the suitcase. When she did, he asked his assistant, Clinton, to check it. 
To everyone's surprise, the suitcase had a bomb inside. Alexis and Penny had planned to trap Washington and his men. The explosion sent Clinton flying and caused chaos at the airport. At that time people panicked, and it became very chaotic. Washington then realized that the flash drive he was looking for had been hidden in his tie by Alexis when they met at the hotel. Soon after, a fight broke out between Clinton and the airport security, and Clinton was eventually shot and killed. Meanwhile, Alexis managed to retrieve the flash drive from Washington's tie and ran away, leaving the airport. Alexis also saved Penny, who had been captured by Washington's men. Finally, Penny survived and escaped from the airport too. In the middle of the chaos, Washington tried to stay calm and leave the airport, but the police confronted him and pointed their guns at him. Not long after, Alexis left the airport and cleverly made Washington appear as if he was reaching for a weapon. Seeing Washington's suspicious movements, the police, who had their guns pointed at him, didn't take any chances and immediately shot him until he died. After the shootout, Penny was questioned by the police about the incident at the airport. During the investigation, the police found Jessica's head, which Penny had left at the airport. Shockingly, Jessica's head had some diamonds with it, making the police think it was Alexis who had committed the bank robbery. Meanwhile, Alexis had bought a plane ticket using a fake identity and passport to escape. On the plane, she met an old friend who was a hacking expert. While trying to hack the flash drive on the plane, Alexis discovered that the flash drive contained plans and evidence of crimes by Mr. Senator, showing his plot to stage a coup and take over the government. After learning the truth, Alexis got a call from a man named MacArthur, who was Washington's replacement. There, MacArthur threatened her and demanded she return the flash drive she had stolen. Tired of all the threats, Alexis firmly refused. After Alexis rejected him, MacArthur reported his failure to Mr. Senator. The film ends. The moral lesson from this film is if you steal diamonds and flash drives, make sure you have a good hiding spot and a backup plan, or you'll end up in a wild chase with hackers and explosions. Also, Always check your suitcase for surprise bombs before showing it to the bad guys.